So I've been playing around with this hat trying to figure out how to trim it and I started with this velvet ribbon because I need something to hide my stitching marks underneath. So this ribbon will cover it nicely. And then I found this vintage trim that I wanted to use and it's a rather bold trim but I think I can make it work by you know working with the shape of the hat and I've done this kind of asymmetrical design with it and I think I may place some of these velvet leaves onto the hat trying to balance it out so if I put a couple over here and a couple over here then I think it'll help overall with this design and ultimately I think I want to place some ostrich feathers across the top but I currently don't have them so that'll probably be the last thing I do and then when I stitch this on, I'm probably going to start by stitching the ribbon on in the center back and maybe putting a couple tacks so that it doesn't move. But then I'll go and stitch this heavy trim down and the top piece can get stitched through the whole hat because there's no lining in it yet. But this piece here will have to, I'll just have to be able to grab the very top layer of the fabric rather than going all the way through because I don't want it to show on the underside of the brim. Okay, so I've tacked all of this trim on and now I've placed the, the leaves in a, in a way that looks a little natural and has sort of, sort of a balance. It's heavier on this side than that side. So there's more leaves on this side than this side. And that, you know, balance isn't always about symmetry. Sometimes you need something that has more weight on one side than the other. And then also other kind of design elements that are happening in this hat is um, in terms of color palette this is very monochromatic so there's um, a couple different colors of burgundy and red on here but there's no other colors so if it were the if these leaves were green then they would be complementary colors so we've got balance where there's one side that's heavier in trim and then one side that's heavier in leaves and then we have a monochromatic color palette and then there's a lot of texture that's going on too the hat is kind of got this satin texture the trim is very detailed and has a lot of embroidery it has some sequins and then the leaves are also creating texture Okay, so now I'm gonna tack my leaves on and I've tucked the ends of the leaves under the trim so that it looks mm, very organic. And what I need to do is just tack each of the leaves um, in a spot that's gonna secure them, but I'm just gonna do a few little tacks here and there to hold them on. I'm not gonna put a bunch of tacks and I want it to look um, almost like they're just hidden. They don't need to be very visible. Now that I've got all the trims attached, um, here, we can look at the back. I need to add the lining. Okay, so I have my two lining pieces. I have the tip, which will go down there, and then I have the side band, which will go around. And I need to first stitch the side band closed, and we want the outside to be the side that's not marked. That's the side that will be inside the hat. So what I need to do is Put the wrong sides touching which is the wrong sides are the ones that are marked and I'm gonna first stitch by machine the center back of the sideband 
Okay, so now that the sideband is in a circle, we need to match up the center back with this seam. So I have my tip center back, and I'm gonna match those markings up and pin it. And this is gonna be a really tricky thing to do because you have a circle, that's the tip, and then you have this straight sideband. So the next thing I'll do is match the center front and the center front lines. And we just have to do this slowly, piece by piece, to get it to fit. And then I'll do the side. And the other side. And then what we have to do now is get all of this to fit in. So you have to quarter this section. So you take the center of the tip and the center of the sideband within these two spaces. I do that by folding them. See, I, I pull them apart and I match the pins up. I put a pin on one side as a marking and then I put another pin on the other side as a marking. And then those two pins get matched up and pinned together. And that ensures that it's more evenly distrib distributed. So you see there's this, I don't know if you can see this dark, but there's this hole where the tip it wants to ruffle outward. So I need to just slowly pin them together. So now I've had this from the center back to the side is quartered. I have one in the middle that's pinning them. Then I have to do it again in between those and maybe even one more time. You want as, as few wrinkles as possible. So you're gonna pin quite a bit. Okay, so that's one section. Now I'm gonna go to the next section and all the way around the hat that way. Okay, so now the whole thing's pinned. I'm going to stitch on the machine all the way around to get those two pieces together. Okay, so I went all the way around and stitched the lining two, two lining pieces together, and this is the side we'll see the inside here. Okay, so um, like always, you line up your center front and back. And I just wanna make sure it's gonna fit in here. And I'm gonna have to glue the top of the lining to the buckram to make sure it doesn't droop outside the hat. Um, and I'll probably trim the seam allowance here. It should be shorter. And then I'm gonna fold and press this lining fabric where it wants to finish on the edge of the hat here. So I might just test out where I want that to be right now and then I will press it and then we can stitch around this edge to finish the lining. Okay, so the last step for finishing this hat is you're gonna stitch the lining around this side with a slip stitch and you can see I've pressed it so this edge is got a nice finished edge and I'm going to line it up with my center back of the hat and go ahead and pin it all the way around. In, into the quarters that you need. Um, and I wanna make sure I'm covering any of the stitching lines that I have that I've used to finish the hat on the outside. Um, <clears throat> and then before I really pin it all the way down, I am gonna glue this part of the hat to the buckram. Okay, now I'm gonna start with a slip stitch at the center back and I just wanna make it as neat as I possibly can. I 
and that's the finished edge. So the only thing this hat needs now is maybe some sort of a horsehair loop to attach it to the head or the hairstyle. And I did mention I wanted to add feathers going across the top perhaps. And other than that, I think this hat is done.